What I'm about to show you right here in this video is probably the single best thing that you can do to qualify for pretty much every Ethereum layer two airdrop. If you ask me, hey, Crypto Cove, what is the single best action that I can take today to max qualify for as many airdrops as possible, even if I don't have much money to allocate? I would say this, we are going to deploy smart contracts and you can do this on basically every single network. Now this website is called thirdweb.com and on this application, you can deploy cut and paste smart contracts to create your own token or to launch an NFT collection and to do a lot of other stuff as well. And if you do these things, then your crypto wallet will look like a developer wallet. And if you do this on every single L2 that you can, it's really going to set your wallet apart from others. And with previous airdrops, we've seen that regular users might get a couple hundred or a couple thousand dollars for some basic on-chain activities. But if you have a wallet that looks like a dev wallet, well, you can be rewarded with five figures or even more. And so I would say that this is a very high value activity that you should try to do on every single chain that you can. And it's not even going to cost you that much money. With a couple of dollars, you can pretty much deploy a smart contract to every Ethereum L2. So let me walk you through step by step how to actually do this. When you get to the homepage of thirdweb.com, you're going to want to first connect your wallet and then find the section under contracts where it says deploy. Then go to the explore tab here and you can have a look through the various different smart contracts that are available. And this is great because even if you have zero coding or dev experience, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is click a few buttons and then we can drop a token smart contract. We can even launch our own marketplace or set up an ERC 721 contract, which is an NFT contract. So there's tons of different copy paste contracts that we can work with here. This one token is one of my favorites because it's easy for everyone to understand, even the monkey brains among us. So what you do is you simply click on the token contract or whatever contract you want to deploy. And then they've got a whole bunch of information here and all of this code that you can take a look at. But honestly, none of that matters. All you have to do is scroll up to the button in blue where it says deploy now and click that. Now this is where you need to fill in some basic information. So you need to name your token, you can come up with a ticker symbol and you can write a description as well as upload an image if you want to. So once you've done all of that stuff, scroll down here. Now under primary sale recipient, it should automatically just populate it with your crypto wallet address. If you wanted to change that, then you could delete your wallet address and put whatever you want in there. But basically that is the address that when you mint tokens, they're gonna go to. And the final step is to decide which network to deploy it on. So down here at the bottom, it currently says Arbitrum 1. Let's click on this and open it up. And the great thing about this is that you can search by mainnets and testnets. So let's first look at the mainnet options. You can deploy on Ethereum mainnet. Honestly, I don't recommend doing that because the gas fees for transactions will be too high, but you can deploy this on pretty much every layer two that you can imagine. As you scroll through this, you see there's just a huge long list of different networks, most of which I've never even heard of, but you can search for whatever network you want. So ZK Sync, and you can deploy a contract on that network. And I recommend doing this for every L2 token that you're trying to farm. Now you can also do it on test nets, even test nets that just launched this week, like the bear chain test net. I can deploy a contract on the bear chain test net right now. So let's actually go ahead and do that switch the network here. And so now I'm deploying the Gimme Airdrops token, ticker symbol Gimme, to the Bear Chain RDO testnet. Then you just wanna hit deploy now, and you're gonna to have to sign a couple transactions in your wallet. Since this is a testnet, it doesn't even cost any real money, but when you're transacting on actual real live mainnet networks like ZK Sync, the cost to do a transaction will be $1, something like that. So let's confirm this transaction here. And once the contract successfully deploys, you have to sign a second transaction to add the token to your dashboard. Okay, that was a success. So now we've actually deployed a smart contract on the bear chain network or whatever network you're doing this on. And we can rinse and repeat and do the exact same thing all over again on a completely different network. So let's try deploying the same contract onto the scroll layer two network. Just same process, hit deploy now. And let's see what this actually costs for a real mainnet transaction. Yeah, so the cost to deploy this contract is 75 cents. And obviously that varies network by network, but if you're paying less than a dollar every time you deploy one of these, then you can pretty much hit every airdrop you're trying to hit for like $10. So this is very high ROI activity because this type of transaction is much more valuable than just making a swap on a DEX. Anyways, let's sign this one and add yet another token contract to the dashboard. And then I'll show you the 
the next step, which is where we can actually interact with these contracts that we've deployed. We can mint tokens, burn tokens, and transfer tokens. So that was a success. And then once you deploy a contract, it brings you to the dashboard page here. And if you click on this button that says token tab, you'll be able to do all kinds of stuff. So let's start by minting some tokens. I'll start by minting 1 million gimme tokens. So hit mint and confirm another transaction. This one is only a 14 cent transaction because interacting with the smart contract is a lot cheaper than actually creating it. What else can we do? We can burn tokens. So we can click on the burn button here and let's burn five tokens. Hit the burn button and then confirm another transaction. This one costs nine cents. So in total for the scroll network, we're still under a dollar and we've deployed, minted and burned tokens. And on the test net, if you're doing it on the bear chain test net, then it's completely free. You can also airdrop tokens if you want to. So I could upload addresses here, but there's no point in doing that right now, but you get the idea. So what you should do is use third web to deploy smart contracts on as many networks as you can and repeat this process, but also experiment with some other stuff as well. For example, we could deploy a marketplace contract on the scroll network and it's a very similar process. I could just name this airdrop market select the chain. So let's just do it on scroll again, hit deploy now, and then deploy a contract. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. And I honestly do think that if you do this type of transaction on your wallets across all the different L2s you're trying to farm, it's going to set you apart from the vast majority of people that are farming airdrops. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.